hello and welcome to Beauty on the Budget and my wintry looking room. It's nice and warm looking, isn't it? Nice and kind of um, festive. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about PR and um, things that we receive, you know, as content creators. And, you know, my feelings about it, really. Um, I think it's a personal thing. And I, I don't think there's any right or wrong. Um, I think if you're sent a production, you feel you, you want to review it, what, it, it, there's no right or wrong. Um, I'm quite a small channel. So obviously I don't get heck of a lot of PR or people wanting me to review because, you know, not, not enough people would be seeing it. And you can understand that from manufacturers. But also, sometimes I'm turned down. Well, they ask me, I'm not turned down. Because I don't, I've never uh, uh, approached a company ever. I've never asked a company if I can do a review. Or a company would ask me. Um, but sometimes, because I've got a standard letter that I put out, the stipulating my terms of giving a review, which is I don't get paid. I, I, I don't feel I'm going to be paid at the moment because I just, I'm not big enough. Um, and I, at the moment I'm quite happy as I am, but I will do a review for people, uh, for companies, but I have got to 100% believe in what I'm talking about. I've got a 100% believe what I'm saying about these products and believe in the products because if I don't then I won't review it or I will tell you know that it's it's not right it's not uh, it's not up to what they're saying now I t I tell them that before I even say yes so I would say eight out of ten times I don't hear nothing back again um so when I do hear something back it says a lot about the company for me. And I've got a couple of companies today that have sent me something and I wanted to share these things with you so that you understood what I mean and where I'm coming from as regarding PR. Now, I'm speaking as a little channel. I am not saying you shouldn't, you know, be paid. You, you shouldn't... Pay be paid for a review, um, you know, anything, any affiliate links, anything. I think that it's all good. It's all good. I'm not at the stage yet that I think I want to do that. I wouldn't feel comfortable with that at the moment. I will never, ever, if I got 20 million subscribers, I would never be paid for a review. That's something, um, no, I will never be paid to do a review. Um, you know affiliate links and things like that maybe later down the line but certainly not now but um, it's I would feel uncomfortable being paid to do a review but there's I mean I would get paid other way otherwise you know through AdSense and adverts and things like that that would be fine I'd be quite happy doing that later on but um, not actually being paid for a review when sometimes when you're honest with the company, when you say that you you will be honest, that you know you should your subscribers mean more to you than uh, you know, and then you do you do mean more to me, and I wouldn't want to lose you or lose your trust by you know saying something. I want to build a trust so that you know what I say is true, um, and if I say something's good, you know it's good. Um, so that's why I always say that to companies and sometimes I, I don't hear back because of that so that speaks for itself really so the couple of things I wanted to show you today and these are the companies that have read what, what I stipulated what I require if I'm going to do a review and they were both great with it so that's fine by me so the couple of companies that I wanted to review for you today the first one is La Vie, I believe they're called, L-A-V-I-E. Sent me some skincare products. 
So um, they approached me and asked me if I would do it. I sent the letter that I said I always send. That was fine. They, they said that was fine. And I received the, the three products. Obviously, I said it would take a couple of a month or two before I would say anything. Because you have to have that time to test on your skin. You can't do a sort of get something and review it the next week because you wouldn't have had time on your skin. So I said to them, I got it before I went away. I said I'll take it away with me and I'll use it and I'll see what happens and see how I feel about everything. Um, and. You know, I've come to a conclusion and I'll give you the most honest review that I can. Firstly, when they come, they were so beautifully packaged. Absolutely beautifully packaged. And um, I was really impressed with that. This is really, really nice eye serum. It's not doing anything I would say to... Um, take away a lot of my puffiness because my puffiness is really really bad but it certainly it certainly helps with any dehydration if you get the which I do I get dehydration around here and sometimes particularly in the morning I can wake up and this part of my eye here is very very dry and this is really good for that really good now it's got a, a french name i believe and i can't pronounce it for love nor money so i'm going to put that across the top <laughs> as i always do and i'm liking it i like i've been using it for i would say six weeks and i like it and i like the effect it has on this dryness i put it on my eye before i go to bed and it's lovely in the morning okay so the second thing was a serum they come in beautiful bottles this is a face serum and the reason i'm keen to use this is you know my skin and retinol you know the fire i ever trying to get some restorative something on my face because my face just blows up but this one has got its restorative retinol and vitamin C. I think I'm okay with some retinols. It's retin A, it's a strong one, the retin A and the tretinoin and the, that I find quite hard, well, I can't use. But this one does, some retinols set me off as well, badly. But this one doesn't. Um, I've been using this of a night as part of my skincare. Um, and I'm liking it. I am really, really enjoying it. And anything that I can use that's retinol that doesn't set me off is great. I like the feeling of it. I will do a skincare update in uh, sometime in the new year. And I'll show you my different ways of application day and night. Um, I'll do that for you in the new year. And I'm sure this will still be included in that if I haven't used it up by then. But I don't think so. <laughs> But it's good, I'm pleased with that. Now the third thing was a cream. The creams is, um, it's for visually lifted and firmer skin, which I thought, that's great, that's great. It doesn't suit my skin. Um, but, it's got... It's got a very clean smell. There's no perfume to it. It's very thick. And if I put it on my hand, I can feel how moisturising that is. I can feel on my hand how moisturising that is. However, there's got to be something in this, this particular cream that doesn't suit my skin. And I think... Sometimes it's unfair for me to review a cream, any face products really, because of how sensitive my skin is. My skin will react, but then my skin will react to so many different creams. And I wouldn't like to give a company a bad review because of, you know, the cream and saying, and, you know, it's not any good. It's not any good for my skin, but it is moisturising. And it's very soothing and it goes right into the skin, sinks right into, it's all right in my hands. 
But once I put it on my face, I get a reaction. But I don't want you to be put off by that. Um, and I'll tell you why I'm sort of praising the company so much. I really like the company themselves. Um, the guy that was in contact with me was, you know, emailing me back and forth. And I told him that the cream, I wasn't so keen on the cream for my skin, that I liked to the other things. And a lot of people have said, oh, don't do a review then, you know, no review. But he didn't. He was quite happy for me. He said, please review as you see fit. I'll let you know, leave that up to you. And I just thought, what, a, what does that say about a company? They must trust their own products so much that they're not worried to pull, pull off somebody that's going to say it didn't suit them. I, th that's honesty, that, it's honesty from a company and I really, you don't get all that all the time and I really like that and if you ask this, these guys anything they will tell you and they'll tell you honestly and that speaks volumes to me, it really speaks volumes so I think the company are wonderful, La B. I will put the name below, I will put the name below of the, the guy that I was in contact with because he was just so nice and so, so helpful and not, not in a selling kind of a way but a genuinely wanting to help kind of a way and I was really, really impressed with that. So, yes, the two serums are lovely. The eye serum didn't do anything for my under eye bags. Well, I didn't see it in the time that I've used it anyway, but definitely helped with the, the drying round here that I get in the morning. This one's very nice, and I'm very, very pleased to use the face serum because um, I can't use anything with retinol usually, so that's that's the winner. But the face cream, unfortunately, wasn't, it didn't, I can feel it's lovely, feel it's moisturising, but it didn't do my skin. It wasn't for my skin. But I'll leave all the details below, and, uh, you know, if you want to have a look, look it up yourself, they're, uh, they're really nice. And if you got in touch with the guy, I know he would help you. He's, they're lovely people, they really are. Okay, so the second product I wanted to review for you that was sent to me was something that I was really eager to try because of one of my dear friends on um, on YouTube, another content creator, uses a silk pillowcase and the item they wanted me to review was a silk pillowcase. So I thought, I immediately thought of her and she's someone that I absolutely believe and trust in 100%. So I thought, okay, I'll try this. I'll, I'll real review this. Um, and the company that approached me are called My Kind of Skin. Um, and they specialise, they're a small, smaller company, but they specialise in premium silk. Um, I believe they do pyjamas. I believe they do pillowcases and a few other things. But it's premium silk. It's really good silk. So I thought, yeah, I'll try that. Because, you know, my friend loves it so much. And she's right. Oh, it's so lovely to sleep on, guys. It's so lovely to sleep on. It's, in fact, I might sleep now. <laughs> it is just so soft and so... So lovely and the thing I like about it a lot as well is because I do tend to you know we I know we should sleep on our backs but I do roll over and I end up you know sleeping like I'm parachute diving um, and my face is squashed up against the pillow a lot when I wake up in the morning but with this of course it's, it's not pulling it's not tugging and it's not you know I was speaking to you about these lines around here. Half of that is where I drew this. But it's not tagging. It's just really soft. And it's a lovely silk. And another thing I like about it is it stops my hair getting any kind of... It's not necessarily static. But it somehow seems to... I don't know how it does it. 
but my hair isn't so knotty in the morning when I've slept on it. Um, it I mean, it is luxury. It really feels luxurious, and um, it's my side of it. Person's not getting it. Um, and I, <laughs> I really like it. I, I don't know how it works as far as the hair is concerned. Um, but my hair definitely isn't as tangly and my skin feels much nicer against it to sleep against it it does really feel luxury I really re it feels like you're pampering yourself and I really like it so I, I'm absolutely thrilled that I got that and thank you so much to the company um, and I will write their details below um, but definitely definitely I would suggest a silk pillowcase um, it's just a little bit of luxury and it it just feels so nice so those are the two things that um, two companies I wanted to review for you today Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Another one a little bit different for me. In my warm, I need to turn around a little bit more, don't I? So I'm completely that side. It looks like cold one side and warm the other. I'll get it right one day. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Take care of yourselves and I love you all. Bye. Bye.